In this video, we're going to take a look at how to calculate volume using the shell method. And in my first example, I have find the volume of the region bounded by y is equal to x squared and y is equal to 4x minus x squared about the y-axis. And one of the differences between the shell method and the disk and the washer is that we're going to take slices parallel to our axis or rotation. And our formula is a little bit different. So we take a look at our graph and we have y is equal to x squared being our lower function and y is equal to 4x minus x squared as our upper function. And we have a vertical axis of rotation. So our slice is going to be vertical. So that means we're going to be using dx here. And in order to find our points of intersection, we're going to set our two functions equal to each other. So we have 4x minus x squared is equal to x squared. And then I can move everything to one side of the equal sign. So I have 2x squared minus 4x is equal to 0. And then write it in factors. So I have 2x and x minus 2. So here we see that 0 is one point of intersection and then 2 is our other. So we're going to be using limits of integration from 0 to 2. And then for shell method we need to know the radius from the axis of rotation to our slice and that distance is going to be x. So our radius is x and then we need to know the area and the area is going to be top function minus bottom function and we can see that our top function is 4x minus x squared. So we're going to have volume is equal to and in shell method instead of just having pi we have 2 pi so we have 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 2 of our radius which is x and our area which is 4x minus x squared minus x squared dx and now we need to simplify so we have 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 2 and we have x times 4x gives us 4x squared and now inside the parentheses we have minus 2x squared times x so we have minus 2x cubed dx and now we can integrate so we have 2 pi times 4x cubed divided by 3 minus 2x to the fourth divided by 4 evaluated from 0 to 2 and when we evaluate we have 2 pi times and when we put a 2 2 cubed is 8 times 4 is 32 divided by 3 minus 2 to the fourth is 16 times 2 is 32 divided by 4 is 8 and then when we put 0 in, we have x in the numerator of both of our terms inside our integral, so it's going to be 0. And when we subtract 32 divided by 3 minus 8, we get 8 thirds. So we have 2 pi times 8 thirds, leaving our answer to be 16 pi over 3 units cubed. In this second example, we have find the volume of the region bounded by y is equal to x squared and x is equal to y squared about y is equal to negative 1. So when we take a look at our picture, we have y is equal to x squared and x is equal to the square root of y. Because our axis of rotation is horizontal, we need a horizontal slice to evaluate this. In order to find our points of intersection we need to set our two functions equal to each other and in this case the first thing we need to do is solve y is equal to x squared for x because we're using horizontal slices and we're using dy so we're going to say x is equal to y squared and I'm only worried about the positive side so I'm not worried about the negative y squared and then I'm going to set the two functions equal to each other so I have y squared is equal to 
square root of y and then I'll have y squared minus the square root of y is equal to 0 factor out a square root of y which will leave me y to the 3 halves minus 1 so our two points of intersection are 0 and 1 and those become our limits of integration and now our radius is going to be from the axis of rotation at y is equal to negative 1 remember the generic distance from the x-axis to our slices is the distance y so we're gonna have our radius is y minus a negative 1 or y plus 1 and then our area is gonna be right minus left so square root of y minus y squared and now to set up our integral to solve this volume we have the volume is equal to 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of radius which we said was y plus 1 times our area which is the square root of y minus y squared dy and now we need to simplify so we have 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of y times the square root of y which is y to the 3 halves y times negative y squared minus y cubed plus y to the 1 half minus y squared dy and now we're going to take the integral so we have 2 pi times we have y to the 5 halves divided by 5 halves which is the same as multiplying by 2 fifths minus y to the fourth over 4 plus y to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves or times 2 thirds minus y cubed over 3 evaluated from 0 to 1 and now we evaluate so we have 2 pi times and when we plug 1 in we get 2 fifths minus 1 fourth plus 2 thirds minus 1 third and remember when we plug 0 in we have a y in every one of our terms so it's gonna all be 0 so now we have 2 pi times everything in the parentheses and when we use our calculator to, to add all these up and multiply it by 2 we get 58 pi divided by 60 units cubed and that's how we use the shell method to find volume of a region